Your Christmas wish is granted. If you were good boys and girls, because if you were naughty, then I'm proud of you. Keep up the good work. Thanks to your votes, our 2023 Christmas special review will be about none other than Mastermind Creations Nero Rex, aka the Predacons, aka Preda King. So let's take a look at them with my partner Ravage. Merry happy birthday, Christmas little mid the Primus. We will start the line with the beast forms of Fortis and Bovis, aka Headstrong and Tantrum. They have this nice and blocky rhino and bull forms, both of them are the same with different head molds, and because they weren't dangerous enough, we can store all of their accessories on their back and legs to give them this sick look, even without them they look like two tanks who can easily run through solid objects. Just like your mama. Wait, is the mama the tank or the solid object? Yes. Our next stop is the duo of Talon and Tigris, aka Dive Bomb and Rampage. Yes, both of them a little bit blocky, but still has their personality. I really like these beast forms, especially the wings on Dive Bomb. The posability is just wonderful, so you can put them into some really sick poses and yes, you can store the weapons on their bodies as well. By the way, Rampage, Ravage, are you related? Just like you related to Silver Sable. <laughs> you wish. Yes, I wish. Obviously, they look different, but strangely enough, both of them have the same body structure. And before you wonder why, let's just say it will come in handy later. Get it? It is funny because they become the hand! And oh boy, here comes the alpha male, the biggest of them all, the leader himself, Razorclaw. Someone skipped like they. This guy looks fantastic. You can totally see why he's the boss. He's big. Bulky, detailed, I think he got the best beast mode of all of them. I love this guy so much, especially if we put all of his accessories on his back. Holy Primus in Cybertron, this guy is gonna rip your face off. Just like your mama? Yeah. I think we admire these lovely beast modes enough. By the way, they are looking so good together. But it's time to check out their robot modes. And because the pairs are similar, I will show the transformation just once to save some of your precious time and my sanity. Your what, mate? <laughs> And here we have the Predacons in their robot forms, and I have to say, HOLY sh They are so freaking awesome, the Mastermind creation guys just nailed the design again. Yes, they are not perfect, for example the tanks can eat their own faces in beast mode. But these are just some minor issues, because the robots are fantastic, the joints are solid, the transformation is fun, and in robot mode they can hold some really wonderful poses with these sick looking weapons. Personally, I think Razorclaw is still the best in the branch, but tell your favorite ones in the comments down below.
And now we're gonna take a look at the main attraction because as you can see earlier, these guys can combine. Are you ready, Ravage? Let's go! And here we have the Predacon Combiner, the cruel animal machine, the big boy himself, Nero Rex, aka Predaking. And I have to say, meh, he's alright. What? I mean, don't get me wrong, he just looks fantastic. The design, the colors and details are wonderful on the combined form as well, especially with this huge gun and the enormous sword. This is the size of a goddamn kitchen knife, I love it. He even has a nice green light up feature. What is wrong with you, Silver? Well, I have a little problem with an important aspect of the figure, the possibility. Yes, we have some nice joints here and there, so he should do some nice poses, but the figure at this point is just so heavy, he can't keep those poses, which is a shame, because this is really a spectacular huge figure, he is just too blocky and hefty to take advantage of all of the joints. And I still love it because he's so sick. For some size comparison, here he is next to NBKTF Engineering Devastator, Generation Toy Defensor, Ocular Max Bruticus, this freaking monster, and of course the inimitable MPP10Z oversized masterpiece Optimus Prime. What can we tell about the Predacons in the end? I will give 5 Decepticon symbols out of 5. These guys are fantastic, one by one, both of the beast and robot modes are phenomenal, the design and colors are beautiful, the Predaking mode should get 4 out of 5 ish because he can't really move that much, but still can hold some decent poses and most importantly looks incredible, so a huge thank you to my lovely fiance for these guys. If you want to get this team or just one or two of them or the original versions, I can highly recommend these animals because without any doubt this package is absolutely worth it. You know what, Ravage? I'll be generous. You can keep the Santa hat. Merry Christmas. Oh, really? Thanks, my kids are gonna love it. Wait, you have a family? Yeah, a wife and two children. You, out of all of the Decepticons, have a family. Why are you keep asking that? Because then you are a family guy, get it? Oh my fucking god! Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays everyone! We're gonna get some days off now for a short time to be with our loved ones, but don't you worry, because in January we'll be back with some new videos, new releases, so until then, tear apart the wrap from your Christmas gifts, eat all of the nice foods and sweets, be with your friends and family, and we're gonna see each other in the next video. Like and subscribe or I will piss on your freaking Christmas tree! It's over! Chosen!